live. Okay, I'm live. I'm live. I better be careful. Hello, everybody. This is Alessandra. We're live in the kitchen. This is the first time I'm doing a live. I'm a little excited. Uh, maybe if you move right over there. Um, and Right there? Yeah. So we're on Facebook Live, too? Yeah. Anybody on? No. Nobody's on. Okay. I, I, well, I don't know. I don't know how to see that. That's why I was trying to see. Okay, go ahead. Oh, but no, you're no, live. No one's on. No one's on. Nobody's on? Okay. Nobody's on. Okay. Wait, but Dad, you have to mute that. Nobody's on. So am I cooking alone? Yeah. Okay. So um, I figured we'd do a live today simply because I wanted to see what a live was. I uh, have so many beautiful comments. I want to thank everybody for following me making my recipes. I'm super excited, so many followers. Uh, Easter's around the corner. We had uh, we made pastilla last week and there were a lot of comments about the recipe. So if anybody comes on live and has the comments, please share them. I have my husband and daughter helping me today. I figure I make the zeppole because it's a quick recipe. Everybody loves it. And this, I gotta really hurry up because it's 12 o'clock. And this batch is going to my local post office today because I promised I was shipping some stuff out and I promised the workers there that I was gonna um, uh, make the zeppole. These are the zeppole sfinge with the ricotta. This is a Sicilian recipe uh, that my mother many years ago got from her colleagues working at Evan Picone. I've mentioned that in my video. Very simple, I'm gonna get started, so I have. Uh, three cups of flour, give it a good stir to get the air incorporated in it. And then we're gonna add half a cup of the sugar. Uh, anybody coming on? Welcome. Yeah, we have four Alexander. people on four Facebook. People. Hi, hi there. And two okay. people on YouTube. Two teaspoon of baking powder, okay? Now, I'm going to use the Italian vanillina. If you cannot get the Italian vanillina, two teaspoons of vanilla work great. So here it goes. I'm going to add that in and again, give it a good uh, stir. And I have 15 ounces container of ricotta. Now, while I'm doing this, I already put a small pot on with oil uh, just to warm it up because it, it goes, you know, you're just mixing it and frying it. Okay, so let's get the um, ricotta in the eggs if anybody has any questions i have my husband and daughter uh standing by um if anything needs to be answered uh it's been a wonderful year i could say this is one of the good things that came out of quarantine is having having given me the time to uh, to tape my recipes it's gone a little uh, above and beyond, so uh, thank you all for watching, really, truly. I try to answer all your messages on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, so I'm really thrilled to be here. This is zest of the orange, okay? You know, I do need a pinch of salt. Let me just grab the salt right here. Always need a pinch of salt that brings out the flavor or what you're making. I have extra sugar here on the side. We put on, we're going to roll the Zeppelis later. Okay, so let's start stirring this. I know I'm missing um, the water, and I'm going to grab that. Actually, my we have a has, What? We have a comment from Connie Luciani, and she said, love you and your recipes. Grazie, Connie. And then we have Liberata Gargiulo with hard eyes. Ciao, Libby. Come stai? Grazie. Grande onore tra Equanus, Positanus. Veramente sono, I'm humbled by all the love. Thank you so much. Cani, buona Pasqua a te. Maybe can you grab me the water from the, I have it right there. Please just grab it. One second, you don't have to come in the microwave. You don't have to come in the camera, I know. He'll kill me if I make him come in the camera, okay. So I have warm water. I have a cup and a quarter. We're not going to use a cup and a quarter, but I'm going to slowly add till I get the desired texture. And I'm going to show you what the desired texture needs to be. Okay, I'm going to just keep stirring. You know what? Now I don't, I no longer need the whisk. 
so I'm going to go ahead and remove the whisk. Okay, you know what I need? A strofinaccio. Something fell. Oh boy, this is a fun live. Up, up, up. Can you go up a little? Okay, so let me get the rest. I need to be careful because if, if the dough is too loose, what's going to happen is it absorbs a lot of oil and it really um, doesn't taste right then. Okay. Let me just keep just a little bit more. My mother had a deli, and um, I'm sorry if I, if most of you that follow me know the stories over and over. My mother had a deli. This was her creation from a couple of recipes from her Sicilian friends, and guess what? They were a bestseller. Everybody came to have uh, Mama Yolanda's uh, Zeppole. Ecco qua. I think I'm going to add just a drop more, and then I'll show you. Okay, un filo d'acqua. I just want to incorporate the rest of the flour. Let's see. Now, usually before um, before I fry them, I let them sit for uh, five to ten minutes. But today we don't have that time, so we're gonna go ahead and just fry them immediately. Poliana said hi, Alessandra. Ciao, Poliana. How are you? Give my love to little Lorenzo, like Sabrina would say. Remember she used to call him when he was little? Okay. Now, it's going to be interesting because we're going to have to move to the stove. Okay, ecco qua. I think we got it. It's perfect. You don't want it thick with its hard, but you don't want it loose either. Okay, let me show you what it needs to look like. See that? Nice and thick. Okay, now the oil is on. I don't think it's warm enough. I'm gonna hire, actually shut the flame off. Okay, put this right here. All right, I'm gonna have to wait till the oil heats up. And this is also one of the recipes that you don't want the oil extremely hot because if the oil is very hot, what happens is, once you drop the zeppoli, it's going to burn on the outside and the inside is going to stay raw. So what you want is a slow rolling. I'm going to stay about 3, 330 to 345, not more than that. Okay, we have Manuela Atanasio. Oh, ciao, Manu. She said, ciao, Ale. And then Maha said, hi, love you, heart. Hello, Maha, how are you? Manuela, santa per un giorno. Auguri per il tuo nomastico ieri, tesoro. Okay. Um, any questions, anybody about the pastiera? One of the common questions was people buy the, the wheat in a can. If you do that, double up uh, the doses, you know, buy two cans for the recipe I gave you, and do not cook it in water because it's already cooked, but do add the milk, the butter, and the sugar, and cream it up, and then it's good to go. Any questions, Adina? No. Nothing? All right. Great. Okay, let's, um, I don't think the oil is, is ready yet, so we're going to have to wait uh, a couple minutes. Anybody else is on that I could say hello? Um, we have Sara on, Patrizia ciao. Maniela. Ciao, Patrizia, ciao. Patrizia, ci vedremo quest'estate? Who knows? Speriamo bene. Lo so che siete in zona rossa e mi dispiace. Patrizia said, sei bellissima, mi piace vederti. Grazie, Patrizia, anche a me. Lucy oh, Lafore, uh, ciao Alessandra, buona Pasquale. Oh? Lucy Lafourne. Hi Lucy, thank you for watching. We have Linda Wolf Lessig that said ciao my friend. Ciao Linda, how are you? You gotta make these Zeppelis for Joe, they're delicious. Simple, actually the grandkids will love them. They're so, so, look, it took less time to put it together. It's gonna take a little bit of time for Lovely. frying them. Um, so, and it's good. So while we wait, it's a good thing that it, it needs to rest a little bit. 
Okay, and then we have Manuela Atanasio that said ciao a tutta la, fa la, la family. Gra grazie Manuela. Sono i miei, i miei, come si dice, <laughs> helpers. Altrimenti da sola non lo potrei fare, quindi grazie a loro. Thanks to my family that does help. Uh, I do a lot of screaming too though, because they don't just, yeah, my dog is shaking her head. Yes, yes, I do, I do that. Um, otherwise I cannot do it alone. Asgur said hi, Salam from YouTube. Uh, salam, Asgur, how are you, my darling? I'm happy you could see me live. So now you know what we do on a Saturday morning here in New Jersey. Let me grab a sip of water. Okay, let's move over to the stove and we'll wait there. I don't want the oil to burn and have a disaster, okay? So let's, uh, let me move right over. I think it's hot. Let's check with, with the thermometer. I am using a, a small frying pan. Simply, uh, I am actually using a pot. It's nice and deep. Uh, because I don't want to um, waste a lot of oil since it needs to be deep. Yeah, it's going up. Let's see. Let me get the plate out. Just a couple more seconds. I think good to go. Scola pesce. That's a must. Uh, you know what I need? Some um, bounty. Okay. All right, let's start playing. The oil is ready. I'm good to go, and I'm gonna put it on a medium flame, not high. You don't wanna be burning anything. So, now come closer, and I'm going to show you how we work the zeppole. Okay, so you just grab it like this, roll it, and then with the other spoon, help yourself and drop them in. I love making these little zeppelins because once you add, quando mette le zeppole nell'olio, si girano da sole, they turn themselves on their own. So you really don't need to do much else. Wet your spoon every once in a while, so like that, it, it comes off easily. Again, roll it on the side and just drop it. Now, this is, you don't just add them all together and take them out all together. You'll see, as they cook, you remove them, and then you move on to the next batch. Look how cute they are. Keep looking closely, and you'll see how they turn on their own. We have a comment from Karen Spielman Graham, who said, Hello, hi, Karen. Hi, Alessandra. I love your recipes. I bought more eggplants to make more rollatinis. Thank oh, you for the wonderful videos. Oh, be que bello. And as we move into the spring, and summer, we have beautiful, fun, fresh eggplants. I cannot wait for the summer. Uh, love the rollettini too. The technique that I use with the batter, there was Ziarita's technique. Ziarita, I'm Vike Quente. Ciao, Ziarita, if you're on. I don't know if she is on, I don't think so. But Ziarita showed me how to do that. Uh, okay, guys, are you seeing how they flip on their own? Don't overcrowd them because you don't want the heat to go down. See that? And while you're watching them fry, I'm gonna grab some paper towel. Okay, okay on good. YouTube we have Danielle Cleveta who said hi Alessandra. Hi, oh, what's the name? Danielle Cleveta. Hi Danielle, thank you for following me my darling. Truly, truly appreciate it. See that? That one flipped. Watch now. We have Carol D'Alessio that said I missed the recipe. The recipe is also on YouTube. Um, but let me give it to you quickly. It's very easy because this is the one pound container batch. Hold on, I'm on the camera. Look at me, not the food now. Go up. Okay, so the recipe is very simple. One pound. What's great about the one pound is that you're making uh, just enough to enjoy. Otherwise, the frying is very long. Look at this as they flip. Okay, so three cups of flour. 15 ounce container whole milk ricotta, half a cup of sugar plus more for dusting, two teaspoon of um, baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla or the little vanillina bag, 
Am I missing anything? The zest of an orange and the ricotta, I think I mentioned everything. Yeah, that's it. Mix it all together. Yes, one cup of water. I had actually used about three quarters of a cup of warm water and this is the consistency it needs to be. I'm going to pick it up. You see, it's nice and thick. Okay, if it's too watery, it gets once you add it in the water in the oil, it makes bubbles and it absorbs oil, and that's not what you want. Now, let's move closer again to the stove, and you see, I have the little Zeppoli flip on their own. You know what? There's a little space there. I'm gonna add one more so the frying goes quick. The post office closes at once a day, and I gotta get these there. I'm hoping that one of my um, my husband and my daughter will go ahead mm -hmm. and drop them we off have for me. Charlie De Palma that said, "Hope you are going to be here in Italy this summer and cook for us." Smiley face. Charlie, ma sai quanti video dobbiamo fare quest'estate? Uh, assistant, my darling husband, come here, please. I I mean, let's let's go up. Okay, Charlie, sai quanti video dobbiamo yeah. fare quest'estate? Tanti, tanti, tanti. Anyway, I'm really looking then, forward. Italy needs a tourism. So the world needs to open up again. So hopefully, uh, that's all craziness. Um, I think we're okay. It's going to be okay. And, and we, we have Fausta De Simone Wilson that said, hello, my wonderful cousin Ciao, from Fausta. Fausta, devo fare la pastiera di riso with your mother's recipe. I'm so sorry that the, the book never came up. Okay, take a look. This is what they need to look like. Look at the color. Hold on, because here's the color. They're um, a golden brown. So as you remove them, okay, start adding more. So you're really not walking away as you're doing this. Okay, so one comes out, one comes goes in. Of course, that the frying, the bubbling is from the drop of water coming. Uh, from my spoon. Don't be afraid, but when you work with oil, be extremely careful, please. We have a comment from Elizabeth Valenti Sorbara that said, Buongiorno, Bella, heart. Ciao, Elisabeth. Grazie per la And she also visione. said, they dance in the oil. Yes, they, what a beautiful way to describe it, yes. They do dance in the oil. And she wants you to come to Toronto, which I'm... Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> yeah, set me up. I'm coming to Toronto. There's nothing I love more than cooking is traveling. And that's mm -hmm. two of my biggest passions, traveling and cooking together. So I'm going to move it right over here to, um, to a cookie sheet lined with a, a paper towel. Guys, by the way, come up with the camera, please. By the way, this live thing is not easy. I appreciate you. Sorry if I keep saying the same thing. This is really wonderful. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch me. Really, truly. Um, really appreciate Fasta it. Fausta said, hello, my sweet cousin. You're doing an awesome job. Hope to see you soon. Love you. Fasta ti adoro. Grazie a te. Manuela it's said, andiamo insieme a Napoli, which I'm down for. Manuel, and she also said bellissime zeppole. Manuel, se andiamo a Napoli con le valigie chiuse, vuote, vuote, perché a Napoli dobbiamo farci la scorta of everything we don't find in America. So, what I just told the Manuela is that um, if we go to Naples, we need to go with our uh, suitcases empty because we need to shop for all the things we can get here in the United States, which is not much. But, you know, some things you just need to bring, like Provolone del Monaco. Anybody watch Stanley Tucci, uh, how he was in uh, Nerano? I had the pleasure of being in Nerano last, no, I'm sorry, not last summer, 2019, with cousin Rino and his family and my daughters, and we went to eat at the Maria Grazia restaurant um, where uh, uh, they make uh, spaghetti alla Nerano. And you, the spaghetti on it, Anna, you gotta have the provolone on it. There's no other way. Okay. Elizabeth Valenti Sorbara said, I used to have an ice cream shop uh, scoop to make these. Yes, come to Toronto. Oh. But yeah, you gotta use an ice cream scoop. Yeah, I would think so. Actually, I might grab one. 
But if I open my drawer, please don't judge me. There's a mess in there. No, it's but I, not in there. <laughs> it's not in there? No. Not in there? Where is it? I don't know. Yeah, me uh -oh. yeah. Look, we're, we're First shot, I found it. Look at that. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to try that. Baby. She, she also said you need your own show, smiley face. Um, from your own mouth to God's ears. That would be cool. I would love that. Yeah, this works great, the ice cream scooper. Okay. Mamma Yolanda, guarda, Elizabeth mi ha insegnato qualcosa. You know what we say no, Napoletano? La vecchia 90 anni imparava ancora. The old lady, 90 years old, was still learning. Let's see the one with the ice cream scooper. It's perfect. It's slightly larger, but I guess you could get a smaller ice cream scooper. So here they are. See that? Once you, once you regulate the oil, what's great about it is that it's just really simple. Okay. Oh, I like this with the Elizabeth. Oh my God, this is, I love it. This is perfect. I think I even have a smaller one. Guarda qua. Guys, Elizabeth, you need to be on a show with me. She said, no judging, Bella. Your daughter sounds like my daughter. <laughs> love watching you. Thank, thank you the so much. <laughs> you know, uh, can I get the camera on my face, please? My husband, please, my darling, <laughs> darling husband. You know what the hardest part about this live is? That I cannot scream. Because every time I talk to them and something's not going by, I'm like, ah! like, But now I need to be on my best behavior on live. And I think they're enjoying the, the, the right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. I knew you were enjoying that. We have that. Linda Wolf Lessig that said, I'm expecting to see you on the cooking channel or food network. Um, yeah, I hope so. Why not? You know, that would be nice. I just, sometimes I, I don't even think, like, like, I think that everybody cooks. So I keep saying, do I even make something that's really that fabulous? So I am truly humbled for uh, everybody that follows me and makes my recipes and has beautiful comments. Thank you. Really. This is uh, something I never did and I love it. I wish my mother would have thought of this years ago. She would be playing with the two spoons all the time, but this is better. The one thing I, I am going to say is that once in a while, because you add a little bit of the water every time you dip, give the, the, give the dough a quick stir. Okay, maybe today we'll even count the zeppelis and see how many it makes. This needs to be removed. These two need to be removed. Uh, these two too. Okay, and uh, queste qua no, ancora devono cucinare. I'm trying not to make the scoop full because I'm uh, trying to go with the same size. All right, so we have Roxanne Feeney on YouTube that says, love your channel, where can I get the recipe? Hi, Roxanne, uh, you could log into www.alessandrasfoodislove.com. All my recipes are there, not all actually, we're trying to get as many up and we're trying to come up with a cookbook. I hope uh, we could do that soon too, that would be great. Uh, otherwise, quickly for this recipe, three cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, 15 ounces of whole milk ricotta, two teaspoon baking powder, uh, a teaspoon of vanilla, orange zest, and three quarters cup of warm water. The water, don't add it all together, just slowly, so you need to know the consistency of the dough. Again, the dough needs to be nice and thick. You don't want it watery. If it's watery, they're going to absorb a lot of oil. Hope this uh, helps. Okay, let's get those counted and see how many we have so far. It does make quite a few, uh, but then you know what? What the other thing is, can you just eat one? Not really. So it, you need you need a few. What I love about the one pound recipe is that it goes right. It's like it's just enough for fun fun uh, snack, but not overwhelming with the frying. Okay, we have twenty two right now in this plate. Also, we have Manuela that said, this is my favorite cooking show. And Elizabeth that said, I'm happy to have given you the ice cream scooper hint. Mm -hmm. When you're famous and have your own show and book, I want to sign for the heart. Elizabeth, love it. Thank you so much. I don't, I, I really, 
I don't know about this famous, I don't think I'll ever be famous, but that's besides the point. I just feel like I'm doing this because I love to, I love to share my recipes, and I realize how much uh, people all over the world, uh, they connect through food, we eat when we're sad, we eat when we're happy, we need to eat to get nutrition, so it's great. We also have on YouTube, we have Carol Delga Delgaudio. Um, that said, is this self-rising flour or regular? It's regular flour because you're adding the two teaspoons of baking powder. Thank you for watching. We also have Lucy Lafreniere. That said, I just bookmarked your website. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lucy. Really appreciate it. Grazie. Grazie di cuore. Now, I wanted to ask, is it okay when I speak Italian? Do most people follow? I try, whenever I say something in Italian, I try to translate it and say it in English too, uh, so that everybody could understand. By the way, I know this is about the Zeppelis today, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the pastiera that we opened uh, yesterday. We did the video, and uh, then I added extra, so I need more pastiera. So I want to show you what it needs to look like inside. But I think I put too many ones. No, these look perfect. They're coming out slightly larger with the scooper, but that's okay because you could get a little bit smaller of a scoop. Um, we have Catherine Irene that says, Darn, I missed the beginning, but wanted to say hi and wish you and yours a wonderful Easter. The trays of cookies and treats I've prepared are wonderful. XOXO, absolutely keep our heritage alive. Catherine, I love you. Thank you because I know you watch me. I read all your comments. By the way, all the Anna that follow me, Anna, Anna Maria, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, again, you know, when I go to bed at night, get on my phone, I look at those comments, I'm like, what, they're really for me? This is too much. Thank you, thank you for following me. Yes, I, really, I really started this because I felt almost an obligation because if we don't pass on the recipes to our children, I have three daughters, and believe me, they're not in the big kitchen next to me. Uh, yeah, my daughter's laughing because they know, and I'm like, who's gonna make this? And I really feared for my life during quarantine. I think we all did. And I said, you know what? If I don't do this and I'm gone, that's it. Well, I do have two sisters that are great, three sisters that are great cooks. So I needed to do this. Uh, and I'm happy that I did. Um, we have Carol D'Alessio that said, yes, happy Easter. And then Lucy answered and said, yes, I spoke Italian to my parents. My parents were born in Italy and two siblings were born there as well. Then three of us were born here in the U.S. That's on YouTube. And then on you. Facebook, Manuela said she loves listening to your daughter speaking Italian. Oh, che bello, Manuela. <laughs> eh, però sai, Manuela, le mie figlie dicono che hanno imparato l'italiano a scuola, non con la mamma. Però Manuel, o napolitano con mamma se non imparate, sicuramente. Um, and then on YouTube we have Carol D'Alessio that said I love to keep the, Ital the traditional Italian cooking. And then on Facebook we also have Elizabeth that said I would have eaten a dozen of those already. And it's really, it's hard not to right now. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth, that's the problem of the lot. I guess that's another thing of the lot. Yes, I would have been, well we're going to open a couple of. Are the ones with the check. ice cream scooper rounder? Yes, they are, absolutely. Actually, I'm gonna get the tray right here. You can see, look up perfectly round with the ice cream scooper. These ones look more like a football, okay? I guess the shape of the spoon, but the ones with the, uh, do the, taste the scooper, yeah, should we already open one? Okay, well, let me check on the oil and- uh, And Manuela uh, said, really? Napoli forever. Um, and then Fausto said, Alessandra, check your mail this week. I'm sending another copy of my mom's cookbook since you never received the first one. Uh, Fausta, thank you. I want to share something. Uh, see, uh, uh, Napoli forever, tutta l'Italia. That's what I love about coming to America. We really become citizens of all of Italy because we pick up the recipes, Calabrese, Abruzzese, Sicilian. But what I wanted to say too, that's very important. Fausta's mother, went to school with my grandmother in Vique Quente. And she, when I spoke to Fausta's mother, she's gone a few years now, she remembered my great-grandmother. Now, if that's not, I could be in tears over that, because that's, 
so emotional. And that's why I take my children back to Italy. It gives you a sense of belonging. It gives you a sense that that's where your history is. I understand it could be a little different for second, third, and fourth generations Italian Americans or Italian something all over the world. But you know what? It could be done. You need, we need to keep the traditions going. And it's wonderful how uh, Italians, Americans that came over 1890s, 1910, they still cook the food and it brings the family together. It's really great. And we have Catherine Irene on YouTube that said, I know what you mean. My daughter didn't know where the kitchen was, LOL. So you know, right? I think we make it difficult because we cook it and it just appears on the table. So uh, Catherine, what you're saying is I did the right thing with the show, right? I'm glad I did actually. Now I'm gonna look at the time because I think one of my assistants has to be off. Yeah, I think I am. Actually, what I'm going to do is, um, let's start rolling them. Oh, that's another thing I'm going to, you see, that's another uh, bad or good thing of the lie. All right, but the Zeppelis need to be rolled in the sugar when they're warm for the simple reason, otherwise the sugar doesn't stick on them. But guess what? They're still warm because it is sticking beautifully. Let me show you right here, okay? All right, oh, we're gonna taste test. My daughter's hand putting her hand out. I guess she wants to taste it. Oh, hold on, let me check that nothing's burning. Yes, okay, I'm gonna get close to the camera. Look at this, oh, mio dear. Guardate, guardate, guardate. Can you see it? Can you see the inside? Mm -hmm. Delicious, delicious. Um, go out. Go get a container of ricotta and make this. Oh, my dear. Mmm. Delicious. I'm so glad I had this live idea this morning. They're great. They're really uh, wonderful. Elizabeth said, I was born in Canada to Sicilian parents. I remember my mom and Zia making these for, for La Festa di San Giuseppe every year. Hard. That's right. Manuela said, que belle. That's right. They're, um, and in Sicily, right, Elizabeth, correct me if I'm wrong, they're called sfinge. Sfinge con la ricotta. Uh, because I guess Zeppelin and sfinge is a, is a, a generic term, a term for anything, that, any dough that's fried. So these are the, the San Giuseppe sfinge in Sicily with the ricotta. Because then you have the other ones that are fried. I, I, actually, I made those, even the ta uh, Napoletano style. Um, Le Zeppole di San Giuseppe, which are slightly different for us in Napoli. And Actually, not, very different. No, not um, the recipe from the Sicilians at work, right? I'm sorry? No, no. Yes, M my mother worked at Ivan Picol, and a lot of the, um, our colleagues there are, were Sicilian. Actually, I'm still friends with the daughter of one of my mother's uh, friends, and uh, Silvana, Cha Silvana. And this is, you know, she got a couple recipes together, and this is the one she came out with. But the hard part about this recipe is that when my mother at the deli, she didn't use measuring cups. You know what she would use? The plastic containers uh, where you put the soup in, she would fill it in and just pour it. And it was so difficult to figure out the recipe. So my sister, my older sister, Serafina, sat with my mother, and you know, my mother would pour and then she would take it out and measure. And so thanks to my sister Serafina that we have um, the recipe. Also, for the gluten-free people, my sister Angela tries it with different flours and they're delicious also. So if you're on a gluten-free diet, absolutely make them without the regular flour, use your um, gluten-free flour and stuff. They really come out great. And Elizabeth okay. said, yeah, like the, the speed death are right. Yeah. Elizabeth, you know, you know good, good food. I'm sure your mother, um, you know, like all the time. And, and the interesting part was, it was that I, oh, I, too, too much water. You gotta be careful with that. Don't do what I just did. I just got a little distracted. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just keep an eye on these. But what I want to do is maybe move over to the table, okay? Move over to the table so I can add the sugar 
and play them. Okay. Uh, should we wait? Maybe let's just wait till this batch is done cooking. Okay. Also, you know, maybe if my if Mary, uh, my husband, could grab the pastiera from the other side, maybe if you could put it on the table, I want to show it. Let me get these out and play them right here. Ooh. Should have counted them, I'm not sure. Okay. But maybe we'll put them all together so it gives you an idea how many there are. Now we don't make this in Napoli, so when my cousins would visit from Italy and would taste them, they were like, why don't we make these in Napoli? They're absolutely delicious. And um, cousin, cousin Salvatore, Betta loved them so much. with the sugar. Anybody have any other questions? Any recipes you would like to see? I still have so many uh, to do, um, except, you know, life picked up a little bit, and which I'm grateful for, but it just means that um, it's less time in the kitchen, which is good too, but um, again, there's so many recipes I want to do, and then I realize that there's no time. Okay. So this could shut off now. Let's move back to the table. I want to show you how many zeppelins it made. Okay, let's do that. All right, let me move this over. Grab some water. Okay, ecco qua. We really. Okay. Really, it took less than what, than 40 minutes? We've been on, yeah, I think it was about noon when we started. Okay, here we go. So, these are the zeppole. Ecco qua. Ora mi pulisco le mani. All right, now I want to show you the pastiera. Okay. All right, come. Come closer, I'm going to cut a piece off. And I want you to zoom closer if you could see the moisten moistness moistness see the of of it you see that see all the so it needs to be very moist and that's the ricotta and the sugar that makes it like that it's one of my favorite dessert and um it non è pasqua senza la pastiera uh, for us uh, so we need to have it and the great thing is even my my um Niece, my nieces and nephews, they all love it. Usually in Italy, it's an adult dessert, the pastiera, but kids here love it, which is really wonderful. Yeah. And, and Zio, Enzo, Zio Enzo said, Ale, no, sembra... No, Zio, en Zio Enzo <laughs> said, I'm mine. But yeah, he said, Ale, sembra che stai nella mia cucina. Bacioni a, a voi tutti, Zio Enzo, da Vicky Quenze. Ciao, Zio Enzo. Ciao. <laughs> Veramente, non ci credo, guarda. Mi emoziona questa cosa saperti uh, con te. Ecco qua, zio Enzo, la pastiera. Ecco qua, ho fatto la pastiera, ho fatto le zeppole di mamma. And that's it. Uh, che altro dirvi? Thank you. Please be safe. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to go to the post office myself and drop them off. Because otherwise, my husband is really going to kill me if I send them on this mission. Uh, grazie. Grazie a tutti. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, be safe. Uh, buona Pasqua. I'll try to do another video again. Again, if anybody wants to see any recipes, just send a message. And okay, now we have a couple more comments before oh. we go. Um, so on YouTube, we have 
Um, Ellen N. that said this was so fun. Do it again sometime. Ellen, grazie. That's all I need to hear. Do it again. I will. I'll and do then it we again. have uh, Zioenzo that said Ale, ogni tanto una parola napoletana. Zioenzo, mi sono emozionata sapere che, che mi stai guardando on live, veramente. Anche se faccio le video chiamate con Zarita quasi tutti i giorni, tu lo sai che ti voglio un bene immenso. E tu e Zarita siete la ragione per cui Vico è tanto para. Ok, then on uh, YouTube we have Roxanne Fini that said keep up the great job, we appreciate you. Thank you, Roxanne. Hearts. Thank you so on much. On Facebook we have Manuela that sent a heart and Anita Price that said ciao bella. Ciao then... Anita! Thank you Anita! One of my first uh, she also followers. said, lovely to see you. Ti adoro, Anita. Thank you. Thank you we so have much. Elizabeth that said, Alessandra, thank you. My table awaits you. Happy Easter to you and your family. Heart. Um, and then um, on YouTube. Elizabeth, grazie for the scoop thing. They came out beautiful. And grazie. then on YouTube, um, Catherine Irene put um, clapping hands emoji. And then Carol said, thank you. Grazie, Catherine. Thank you all for watching. Vi adoro. I really, truly try to answer every single message because anybody that takes the time to watch me is thank you it's it's a compliment for me arrivederci grazie i really need to go now uh zio enzo ti adoro zio enzo uh, un bacione grande a tutti buon buon sabato e buona domenica arrivederci